Hey, what's up, folks? How are you? Hope all is well and peaceful and productive today for you as it is for me because I choose for it to be. All right, let me keep this quick, short, and to the point. This has been uh, the mantra on my spirit lately that I say over and over again each day for a few times a day so that I remind myself of what I'm really doing here. Um, I don't get caught up in all of the stuff of life. And I've said it to you before, but I will say it again because I think it is one of the, if not the single most damaging thing that women carry around and really all people carry around with them. And we have to destroy it. We have to get rid of it. It's this notion of unworthiness. Let me break that down for those of you who don't really understand the whole unworthiness thing. That just, you know, sometimes certain words don't register for certain people. Basically, that you ain't shit. Basically, you know, that you don't measure up. There's something wrong with you. You ain't quite got it together. It doesn't matter how much you do, what you do, what you accomplish, you always tend to find the weakness in yourself. You tend to look for where you don't uh, align with you know, your best uh, vision for yourself because your best vision always gets pushed up further and further so that you'll never meet it. Basically, it's unworthiness. It's this whole sense of I am not good enough. There's something inherently wrong with me. I am not good enough. I want to deposit this into your spirit today as I have been depositing it into mine. There is nothing you can do ever to make yourself more valuable. I'm going to say that again. There is nothing that you can ever do to make yourself more valuable. Please believe that. If you got to go research it, if you got to Google that phrase, do it so that you can get it into your spirit because this culture teaches us that we're not good enough. Our whole culture says you got to do more. You got to be more. You got to get more. You got to make yourself more attractive, more marketable, more competitive, right? All of those words. But we have to understand that all of these things, these experiences that uh, we're going through on earth are just that. They're just experiences. We are spirit first, but our humanity sometimes threatens to overtake us, to make us think that that's what's really real. But what I believe is really real is that we are spirit first, that we are spiritual beings having a what? Earthly experience. And all of those experiences are only here to get us closer to God. Everything you experience every day with your mother, with your husband or your wife, your father, your children, your boss at work, all of these things are opportunities for you to get closer to God, for you to see the God in yourself and in each other. These are just spaces that can take you higher. They are nothing but tools. They are facilitators. So every time you get pissed off, every time you're hurt, every time you're wounded, it can be a facilitator for you to get to the next level spiritually, emotionally, you know, mentally, or you can stay stuck and keep thinking that you got to do more. You got to be more. You got to have more. I hope that you don't do that. I hope that you play this a couple of times today. And remember, there is nothing, nothing you can ever do to make yourself more valuable because you are already enough just as you are.